Hi, I'm Jill Fry, and today I'm going to show you the first steps in using your Pluto trigger. First of all, we need to make sure we're on the same page on our Pluto Trigger. So open up your Pluto Trigger app. Look for the three horizontal bars in the top left hand side of the screen and click on it. This should open up your menu. Click on where it says Shutter Release. We're going to take a look at the different features in this menu item. The first one you'll see is tap. This is the simplest and easiest way to just take a photo with the touch of the button. You press the play button and it will automatically trigger your camera. This feature is really handy when you want to make sure that there is no camera shake. For example, if you're taking photos at night, it is essential you use this feature to trigger the camera. If you now put your finger on where it says tap and scroll it to the left, you will see that the next one is focus. In this mode, you tap and hold the button to pre-focus and then let go to take a photo. Scroll left now to the next mode, which is hold. In this mode, you tap and hold the button to open the camera shutter and then you let go to end your exposure. To be perfectly honest, I very rarely use this one. I actually prefer the next mode, which is lock. I use the lock mode to do my light painting. In this mode, you tap the button to open the camera shutter and then when you finish doing your light painting, you tap it again to finish the exposure. This way you don't have to hold on to the trigger and that means I can go out and do my light painting by myself. I tap the trigger, run around the lights and then finish and tap the trigger to end the exposure. You can also use the next mode which is the bold mode to set the time for your long exposures whether this be night photography or long exposures capturing, for example, wave motion in the sea. If you are using neutral density filters, then don't forget there is a special feature just for that, and I've made another video just on using the neutral density filters feature. The next mode is the burst mode. This is useful when you want to do a rapid fire of shots. This will ensure you capture all the action. The final mode in the shutter release section is the timer feature. This feature is handy if you want to be in the shot too. So you set the time, say 15 seconds, and then you run out so that you are in the shot. So that is a quick summary of the shutter release section of your Pluto trigger. Hopefully that's helped to get you started. If it has, then please do like the video and comment below and subscribe to my channel because I'll have more Pluto videos coming your way. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye.